Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Canapreneur Partners Canon News Break. Uh, looks like uh, President Biden has pulled the uh, ultimate uh, head fake on the cannabis industry, or the what's the word they use, the bait and switch on uh, the cannabis industry after uh, campaigning for decriminalization, legalization of cannabis on the campaign trail, after picking Kamala Harris for a VP who had done a magical transformation from being a prosecutor to put people behind bars for cannabis to being prophesizing for its legality and for getting people out of prison. Uh, the Biden administrator said on Tuesday uh, they declined to say whether President Biden would sign or veto a bill to federally legalize marijuana if it arrives on his desk. Now, we know that the House of Representatives has been passing cannabis bills since December of last year. We know the Senate... Um, did not look did not even take them up until the Democrats took control of the Georgia Senate in January. Uh, since then, we've heard almost weekly proclamations from Chuck Schumer saying that cannabis was a top priority, saying that cannabis legalization was going to happen, reform was going to happen. And then we have the Senate yesterday saying that uh, if something comes in, they're not even going to vote on it because they're just not there yet. So uh, it seems uh, Democratic leaders in the Senate and the White House, for whatever reason, are backpedaling pretty quick. Uh, it's only been three months, um, four months actually, uh, since I got there in January. Uh, backpedaling pretty quick on some of the statements and the claims and the policy initiatives they claimed they were going to get started when it came to cannabis on the campaign trail. Surprise, surprise. A, a politician goes back on their word. Um, specifically, they said, the president supports leaving decisions regarding legalization for recreational use up to the state's Rescheduling cannabis as a Schedule II drug so researchers can, researchers can study its positive and negative impacts. And at the federal level, he supports decriminalization, decriminalizing marijuana use, and automatically expunging of any prior records. He also supports legalizing medicinal marijuana so that his point of view, that is his point of view on the issue. Um, that's direct odds with what the Senate has said they want and what the House of Representatives have said they want. Uh, they want full legalization, full decriminalization. Biden's just not there yet. And we've been, I, I think we could probably go back to some of these videos we did from last year during the campaign trail uh, when people were uh, convinced a Biden win was going to usher in cannabis legalization across the nation. Uh, we cautioned then that uh, no one had really... No one really knew Biden's stance on it. He hadn't really come out and said what he thought about it. And given his family's history with uh, addiction and, and drug issues, um, automatic legalization was not necessarily in the cards. And um, unfortunately, it's proving as though those predictions were correct. Um, there was one interesting question. A reporter asked to follow up on a separate cannabis pledge Biden made as a presidential candidate when he said incarcerated people in federal prisons over nonviolent marijuana claims should be released. His press agent said that would be that would be addressed if cannabis was scheduled was rescheduled to a schedule two, um, which makes little or no sense because those of you who don't know, uh, schedule two narcotics include these little neat things like heroin, methamphetamine, and, and cocaine, and there are. Lots of people in jail for heroin, methamphetamine, and cocaine. So I'm not sure why the press secretary for the president of the United States is thinking that um, rescheduling cannabis to a Schedule Two automatically means people get out of prison, unless they are planning on releasing all the cocaine traffickers, heroin traffickers, and meth makers that are in prison right now. I don't think they are. I think the press secretary just doesn't understand what she's talking about, which is another unfortunate thing. Um, it's uh, it's disappointing to say the least. Uh, you know, I know that the cannabis industry had a lot of hopes and dreams behind a Biden presidency, and uh, it seems as though, um, at least for the next immediate future, and I'm going to say one to two years, um, I don't think we see much on the cannabis legalization front on a federal level, um, other than perhaps Biden letting the states do what they want and trying to decriminalize it. Uh, removing cannabis to a Schedule Two drug. Uh, is is it, it borders on moronic, um, for lack of a better word. Um, the, the implication that cannabis is as dangerous as heroin, cocaine, or methamphetamine is just, it's not backed by a single shred of credible evidence anywhere produced at any time. So, you know, 
this is we're not gonna we're not gonna get what we thought we were gonna get out of Biden. As it appears, um, barring some sort of um, awakening on him in the next couple of years. So uh, disappointing. Uh, at least maybe we could get some people out of prison who are sitting there for carrying a joint around a park at a traffic stop. Um, that would be that would be a nice start. But um, unfortunately, politicians let us down again. Uh, we'll just keep plugging away. Keep keep pointing to the future, and uh, we'll be back with more. Thanks.